There's an extra goal score, number 15, Jimmy Allen. Ahead of Galwoods and beat Zan Lac Laban. Corner is taken. Laban comes out with a punch. Story floats it back across. Waring slots it home. Neat little cross to six yard box. And George Waring is there. His second goal for Curzon in all competitions this season. And you'd have to say, on the balance of the attacking chances that they've been created, Curzon Ashton, it's been some time coming. Shied against potentially the short option there with Sinclair, trying to go short and Seth's going to deliver into the box. Managed to find his way free! And in! George Waring claims it! And all of a sudden, Curzon Ashton have got themselves the goal and have opened it up. There's a little bit of a scrappy. Fight and corner inside the six yard box. I think Kenyon took a little bit of a swipe at it, but forced to save from Jones. And then George Waring 
who stuck it in. I think it's come off the back of Jones as well. Yeah, so it, it will be one for the dubious the goals goal. panel to decide whether it's actually going to credit for George Waring or whether it's an own goal against Bobby Jones. But nonetheless, just past the half an hour mark, if it is Waring that's going to be credited, it's two in two just on the, after the half an hour mark by George Waring, who's trying to put uh, some pressure on Zach Lilly. Long ball going over the top. Offside flag stays down against Jake Jervis. Plays the ball towards the front of the penalty area. Matthews hasn't tried to manage to rotate through. Mikhail, great pole line clearance from Jordan Richards. Mason was beaten. And then a great slide in there from Will Hayhurst to keep this counter-attack opportunity alive. Here's George Waring. If they play this right, this could really bear dividends. This is Barton now. Just holding off his run as he goes through the half of attacking the field. Story on this near right hand side, little heel to heel flick to try and work his way centrally. Now Richards, short to Story once again, looking for options, being faced out by Gadja. Drives towards the centre of midfield. Man, shapes to shoot on his left, then trying to scurry away again from Murabedzi. He's Craigman! He spilled it and it's in! Bobby Jones with an absolute howler on debut! It's a goal gifted to the boss, Craig Mann. I believe it's his first goal since taking charge of Curzon Ashton this season. And just like that, it's Curzon Ashton 2, Brackley Town 0. It was great transition, such a quick transition from defence to attack. All started with the goal line clearance from Jordan Richards. Found its way out to the far left hand side of the ground. A slide from Will Hayhurst to keep the ball alive. He was there to press initially, but is now going to peel back and go into his natural left back position. Spencer with a header forwards. Offside flag stays down. Man gets hacked down there. Advantage has been paid. Hughes, delicious ball in there. Moles, what a finish! From Stefan Moles and Curzon Ashton pull one back before the break. Well, that's exactly what you want and what you need from the chances that you're creating, the possession that you're having inside that final third. Go route one and hope that Spencer can try and make something of it. Squires was always the better man in that situation. Man, measured ball there to Barton. Hayhurst, Moles, away from Harry Flowers, on to Reece Hughes. Take a bow, youngster! That's how you counter punch! Goal number four, and a Curzon Ashton shirt, and I tell you what, he couldn't have hit it sweeter. Forceful to Richards. Barton was neat. Moles, still Moles, and it's alive and in! The comeback complete so far! And Jimmy Spencer will claim it! If it is for him, how important that will be for his confidence.